So now that I removed that stubborn mascara, I'm just going to moisturize my skin with the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior, which is a plumping moisturizer. It's a two-in-one. I really like this on my skin. I feel like it really hydrates, and I just love how it feels, and I love how it smells. Now I'm going to take the Kate Somerville Eye Cream, and the reason why I use an eye cream is because I do want to prevent wrinkles underneath my eyes, and I have really dry eyes, so I feel like it moisturizes. So after I do that, after I prep my skin, I'm going to start on with the makeup. And I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium with this Morphe brush. I'm applying with the brush first so I can um, spread some of that concealer all over my lid since this is what I'm going to use as a primer. And then I'm going to set it um, after I blend it out with my sponge with some eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow that I'm taking is from the Modern Song. Modern Renaissance, <laughs> Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm just gonna pack it onto my lid and blend it into my crease. So next, I'm taking raw sienna with the same Morphe brush, and I'm just blending that color onto the outer corner of my eyes. And blending it into the crease I'm not doing anything too heavy um, because this is a very light glitter makeup look and I don't want anything too crazy so I am taking this Too Faced glitter and before I do that I'm gonna apply some eyelash glue onto my lids I don't know if it's safe to do this I mean I've done it so many times and I've never had a problem with it and I feel like it prevents fallout more than a regular glitter glue so next i'm just gonna pack that color onto my lid and i'm kind of bending my head back just a little bit so most of the glitter falls onto the glue and not onto my face because it's such a struggle when you have glitter all over the place so i'm gonna take a makeup wipe and remove any fallout and then i'm taking my inglot gel liner in number 77 with my sigma b12 eyeliner brush which is one of my favorites and I'm just going to glide that gel and just create a wing. I really love this eyeliner. It's really, really black. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Powder in Ebony. And this really old, really, really old angled brush that I think I got in one of my first Ipsy bags, which was like five years ago or so. I don't know when they first came out. Um, but I really like this brush. I mean, I've always had it and I feel like it applies powder really, really well. So that's why I really like it for my brows. Next, I'm going to prime my face with a Scandinavia Primer Spray, and then I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD or Ultra HD foundation in shade Y335 with this Morphe brush. And I do want a little bit more full coverage, that's why I'm using a brush first. I feel like with a brush, you get more full coverage, you get more foundation on your face, more product, and it can hide the redness a lot faster than just going in with a sponge. But I do always go back with a sponge just to make sure I don't have any streaks or anything like that. So to hide these under bags or these dark circles, I'm applying my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And again, I'm taking that same brush that I use to blend the concealer onto my lid because I do want more of a full coverage look. And then of course, after I blend it with a brush, I'm going to go back in with a sponge to make sure everything is nice and blended out. I'm taking this e.l.f. powder. 
it's really really messy i only like to use this during the day because it does have a crazy flashback i don't want to use this at night but i do love how smooth it makes my skin look my under eye area looks really really smooth um so i really like that powder and it's in the shade translucent and i'm just brushing out my brows just a little bit and i'm going to apply falsies i really like these 120 lashes um they remind me of demi wispies but they just look a little different um and i'm waiting for the glue to dry so i haven't applied them yet and i'm taking my nyc smooth skin bronzer and i'm just gonna contour and bronze with it just a little bit and after that i'm gonna take my blush which is my favorite blush and it is uh, MAC in copper tone. I really like this blush. It's one of my favorites. I use it like all the time That same brush that I use to contour which is I don't even know what brand or I don't even know what name because it's really old But it's really soft. So I really like how it blends my bronzer and my blush Now with that same brush, I'm just taking Give Me Sun by MAC to add a little bit more of a bronzy look. And now that the lash glue got tacky, I'm taking some tweezers and just popping on these lashes. These are very lightweight, so if you're a beginner, I think Ardell lashes are perfect because you don't really feel them like that. And they look really, really pretty. So I do like to go in with my finger just to make sure that the lashes are on there. And I like to push them up so you can actually see them. Now I'm taking this Bare Minerals uh, Lip Cream, I believe. I'll put the name somewhere around here because I completely forgot. But it's such a beautiful color. It's very lightweight and comfortable and it's a matte lip. It's not a liquid lipstick, it's just a matte lip. And I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlight with the Anastasia Number no. 23 Highlight Brush, which is my all-time favorite combo. I always go back to the same highlight in the same highlighting brush because I just feel like it adds it so nicely it looks airbrushed and I just love how glowy my skin looks with this highlight and this brush of course now I'm taking a Maybelline mascara and I'm just gonna add some mascara to my lower and top lashes so this helps your upper lashes stick to the falsies and if you have straight lashes then that's an amazing trick to do and then of course I'm just kind of filling in my eyebrows just a little bit and that is the finished look I love this look it's so cute it's light it's not too dark and it looks really really nice on anyone so make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye